Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis, which I truly believe is going to be one of the best videos I have ever made right here as we are going to be diving together into the Bitcoin chart. I'm going to be going over my current trades, the next extremely important levels to be aware of right now on this Bitcoin chart and how we can be managing this over the week to come. I feel this is this is going to be a good video for the theory and also because of the potential massive move that we're about to see on the Bitcoin chart. So uh, yeah, get strapped in, pay full attention and block out all the distractions around you. Give me your full attention for the next 15 or so minutes. And by the end of it, you will have learned something new and you will be very happy knowing the levels to be ready and waiting for. So let's get straight into what we love, and that is trading Bitcoin. This is where the passion starts. So obviously picking up directly from the last video that I made, we were obviously trading around $21,040. We had not hit the daily level. So we had this untapped daily level below us, which we were ready and waiting for. Okay, so that was the last update that I've done on the 26th of July, fast forward three days, and we can actually see now adding on the technical analysis what happened here. Okay, so this is where we're making that video. We finally come down and we tap that daily and we actually had some really nice confluence. Let me actually show you this really quickly, delete everything here a second and add on this really simple line from that last low and you can actually see how we ended with a swing failure pattern. Okay, so we came back, we went below that low, got back above it, and so we actually had a swing failure pattern onto that daily level, finding support around the middle of our channel. Remember, this middle of the channel is our high term time frame channel. As you'll know, I shorted $24,000 compounded on the retest. The thing that you have to remember here is when we're trading a channel, we can have targets at the low of the channel, but to be really, really, really important to acknowledge, you can definitely get this partial decline and find support off the middle of the channel. This why this is why this level was so important to us because it is the middle of our channel. It's a major take profit on shorts and you can obviously reverse that position into longs should you get a reaction that you wanted. And I mean, it, it goes without saying, ladies and gentlemen, when you're rating for a reaction and you see this on the charts, you've come down, you've taken that low, you've then got a higher high, higher low, higher high off the top of it, okay? Well, you can see what I was looking for next. We bounced off the daily support, so you know what I'm looking for next for that daily resistance. Why is this? Well, really simply, <laughs> CC pool are long because we looked and we were ready and waiting for the reaction, yeah? We know, we need to know what's happening at this daily. We need to remain patient for it to be tapped. Once it's tapped, let's check the reaction. Did that level hold us support? or did it not hold a support? If we had simply went straight through the level, there would have been no long to be had. But because we actually bounced clear as day, we are bouncing clear as day off of that level, okay? We're then getting a market structure change off of that level, okay? We're, we, we are looking and ready for the reaction. We've seen the reaction, let's execute. This is the time to get into those long positions, okay? Invalidation would have been back below that low. Okay, and if you actually wanted some even more nicer confluence, by the way, uh, of course, some of the champions getting into that trade, this guy actually says first time that he's managed to get into that trade with this kind of like really big move to the upside. What a feeling. Well done, Chris. Obviously, you've just started your trading journey into the educational space. Keep on going at it. And soon, maybe you'll be able to end up like Igor because this was a call and a half. If you're not following Igor on Twitter, it's probably time to because... As soon as we're hitting that low there at 20,700 and he's seen the reaction, he actually posted over here for free over on Twitter for you all, high to low on Bitcoin. So the Bitcoin whale himself, Igor, actually shorted that high at 23,600 and then publicly showing you that he closed the short and it actually gave Bitcoin its local low there. What are you doing? Follow that hedger right now and smash those likes. If you don't know Igor, he's obviously a coach over at Chart Champions. He's one of the really big whales on the space. And yeah, this guy is, uh, let's just say he can can have an influence on what the price is doing. So yeah, for him to say to everybody what he'd done there, I think was very generous indeed. From the high, calling the low on Bitcoin, and we all know what happened next. Well, hopefully you know what happened next. We made our rise to the upside. I want to play this really quick five second clip for you all to talk about this daily level. This was for me a key daily level, once again, back from the last video that I made, where we only had two levels. We had the bottom daily, where we found support for an extremely nice long, if you paid attention there. And this was the next level. Let's just remind ourselves what I said there. Price alert goes off and price simply goes straight through the level. By having the alert set, I simply take no trade. The reaction was no reaction that I was looking for. I'm looking for shorts. If we blast through the level, I have the alert go off and I'd really say, say to myself, no shorts.
Okay, so you heard what I was saying there in that last video. Just to emphasize the importance of this, we really simply had this level marked out. We had the alert set. And my, my exact words there are, let's wait for the reaction. And you see this, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we call no reaction. So if we're ready and waiting for a potential short here, and we really simply just go straight through the level, then there is no trade to be had e.g. remain in long positions because you're not going to take a short if you just go straight through the level. Just like down here, we were ready and waiting for longs. If we had just gone straight down through the level, there was no long to be had. Because we had the alert set, we see the reaction, market structure change, execute, long. Here, the opposite. We have an alert set, we're ready and waiting for trades. Should we just go straight through the level? There's no trade to be had. In the end, we actually got through the level, back tested it to the dollar for another move to the upside, but we'll get to that. And of course, I'm gonna talk about what's happening next over the next week or so, but there's just, there's a lot to learn here. Please pay attention to this next segment because it is once again, very important. I actually want to talk you through what I was looking at live in the time, okay? So this is live in the time as it's happening. I'm talking through my thought process over in the new read only coaches channel. You know, we listened to all the feedback that we, we were given. People wanted these read only coaches channel. Well, you got them and I can obviously understand why you wanted that because this is what I was posting live in the time. Okay, we have obviously had bounced off of that middle of the channel. This was a post from a few days ago. The channel that I had marked out from one month ago is still controlling the market. We're finding support on the middle of that channel, okay? A few days later, we obviously got a large bounce off the middle of the channel and daily level. Then, really simply, it's waiting for higher. You know, we've got to be patient. We've got to wait for those higher prices. Let's wait for that daily and check the reaction there. As soon as we're hitting that level, I'm writing to my team, you know, at least wait for the market structure change on the lower term time frame before shorting. Better to wait for confirmation. My exact words here, no change. Do not short yet. In my opinion, there's no short to be had yet. No financial advice, but I am not shorting this. I am giving the green candles. I am looking for higher, okay? And you can imagine this is your thought process life in the time. Maybe you're like, oh, debating shorting here. You see me posting. I'm not shorting here. This is what you need to do. <laughs> you know, you're probably going to think to myself, you're probably going to think, oh, you know, this guy's been trading 10 plus years. He probably knows what he's all about. Well, of course, we did move up. And as you can see here, you know, and about an hour later, at the moment, we have seen, all we have seen, this is a one minute time frame, by the way, a move above the level, back test on the one minute time frame, and another move to the upside. No market structure change, really simply getting through the level. So what we had all, all we had seen at that point is a break above the daily, back testing it as support for another rise. And then recognizing my team, the really important local levels of support, which if lost is a sign of weakness, but we never lost that level. We never lost that level, ladies and gentlemen. And also again, once again, for another layer, layer of confluence, you also add Igor, had Igor posting here, I'm ready to pull the trigger, in from the lows yesterday with stops well into profit, he's also in those long positions okay so that's like taking into consideration what some of the you know top traders in the world are doing right now you've got the legacy markets playing alongside you you know the es has been really strong you know, you've seen the DXY pulling back. So you've seen everything coming together here for another rise to the upside. And I actually just want to show you this final post before we get on to what's happening next. There's just, you, you've got to be learning for this. So let's just take some key things that you should have learned so far. Have alert set at levels, check the reaction, hold, execute. If you do not break, if you know, if you do not get the reaction that you're waiting for, that's absolutely fine. There's no trade to be had. You could, for example, wait for this retest, for example. Yeah, that's potentially what you could have done. Okay, and this is actually a live stream. Again, once again, feedback, listening. People wanted to see more members-only content. Apparently, I've been doing too many videos for the public and, and, uh, and you know, neglecting a little bit the, the champs. So what I decided to do is, hey, let's change that. Let's do more content just for the members. And, well, this is kind of what I'm doing. This is a members-only live stream that I've done on the 27th. Again, we were having extreme volatility. I know people are going to be anxious. I know people are going to be scared. And so I decided to come on here and just talk through what we can be looking for okay presenting some scenarios so we're ready and waiting for you know one of these scenarios to play out in time so we can once again execute and make money off these trades you can see what i'm looking for here we were starting to form a range my thought process is you know it's very likely that we can come down take these lows bounce take the highs one more time come back down and take the lows one more time okay and then this is the level that you're ready and waiting for for a reaction okay so you can see here down up down and this is how it actually played out down to the exact level that we were looking for. Once again, we then saw the rise to the upside, which for me was a short position. Okay, this is a short. Why? Because I'm looking down for lower prices here. And then this is the reaction. We come down, we swing failure pattern that low, 
And what did we swing failure pattern onto the low? It was the daily back test. So you can see here on the five minute chart, okay? This is kind of the, the route that I had lined out, low, high, back down to the low, okay? low, high, back down to the low. And then you're ready and waiting to see what happens here. If you see this clear as day bullish reaction, well, you've then seen a swing failure pattern of that mini range low, a market structure change off the back of it. And well, then you also back test the CC, by the way. So from low to the high of here, you come back into that CC level for another move to the upside. So I mean, you can start kind of see what we're talking about here. And this all comes down to like experience, yeah? So you, some people, you know, truly are intrigued. Like, how do I come up with these ideas? You know, how did I foresee this move happening? You know, we're talking about 12 hours in advance. And it all comes down to that experience and intuition. I, you know, we obviously done the uh, chart champions meetup where we had over 50 champions coming together. And a lot of the questions were like, you know, how do you foresee these moves? And I, I, my answer is really simply this. Once you've been trading for this, you know, long period, I'm trading 12 years now, and you basically just, you, you just have seen these patterns hundreds and thousands of times. You know, I just have a really good feeling for the market. When I'm in the zone, when I'm fully concentrated, I'm not actively thinking, is this a good reaction? Is this a, is this a, a nice amount of shorts? Is this you know, have I got enough confluence there? No, I've done all my analysis prior to that. When I get into the zone, I'm, I'm just really simply focused on the charts. I'm looking at the data, I'm looking at what's happening, and I'm not overthinking. And then when we come down to levels, I'm just executing with no thought process. I'm not thinking about the money, I'm not thinking about the wins or the losses, I'm just doing what I do, and that's trading. And the money just comes naturally because I have this, you know, I have this nice feeling of the market, and this is what I got once again. I just had this feeling. We've seen this price action hundreds and thousands of times. This is a very high probability. Okay, and obviously ended out pretty much exactly as predicted. Okay, I know some people don't like it when we say it, but it pretty much ended as that is predicted off of this scenario. And this is one of the scenarios we're ready and waiting for. And again, I mean, we'll put this out there. A lot of people nowadays, you know, they're trading for one, two, three years, and they will refer to themselves self-proclaimed pro traders. And this is the thing that you have to think about. You cannot really class yourself as a pro if you've been trading such a small amount of time because this intuition and this feeling that you get for the markets, I think we can agree like the whole, you know, tr working in general, you know, you have to be spending at least 10 years doing something every single day before you get that intuition, before you don't even have to think about what you're doing. So, you know, a lot of people might say, hey, I'm a pro trader. I've been trading for one year. Um, you know, you have to think to yourself, Without intuition, without that experience, it's really difficult. And that's why I always will always say to people, you know, if you're learning with us today, if you were learning with us, you know, last month, if you were learning with us, you have to really appreciate that, you know, becoming a successful, consistent trader is going to take time, period. It's going to take time. Why? Because you need to put in the screen time. You need to be doing this, you know, you need to be doing this regularly to get that feeling for the market. Of course, you can understand the theory. You can be very good at that. But to get that executions, you know, to actually be executing and making money consistently, that is going to take time for sure. So don't rush yourselves. You know, don't get greedy. Play, the, play for the long term and you can end up as a very good trader. Okay, and I want to move on to really what's happening here. So I think I've made it very clear why we bounced from where we bounced, how we got through that level, back tested it to the exact dollar, and then we've come up to the top of our channel. And this is now what's happening next and what is very important indeed. Okay, so we actually have some really nice channels going on here. So I'm going to temporarily hide this sideways channel and I'm going to put on this upward sloping channel that we've been trading. Okay. If you're in the group, you will have recognized this channel with us because this is a channel that we've had marked out. So you can see we have a little bit of this upward sloping channel coming in at around $25,000. So yes, we can be aware of around $24,800 to $25,000 being the top of this upward sloping channel. This is a level that we can be ready and waiting for for potential resistance. Okay, but really for myself, I'm looking here at this uh, the sideways channel that we're still trading, recognizing there we can come up for that upward sloping channel one more time and reject. Of course we can. Um, but really, if we're breaking out of this channel with strength, you know, if we're seeing a massive open interest increase, you know, lots of positive delta and volume coming in high, of course, there's the potential. I'm going to be ready and waiting for the reaction of, off of that top of the channel. But the higher probability is that we're going to be seeing a breakout. Of course, the higher probability is not 100% certainty. I'll be ready and waiting for that. But I would say that there's a high probability for a really large move to the upside, yeah? I'd be looking for a large move to the upside coming back into this old range, yeah? This old range is going to be absolutely key, okay? We'd obviously look for the value area low of this old range first. 
Okay, so we'll be looking for around twenty-seven five, closer to twenty-eight thousand dollars to thirty thousand dollars. Okay, so this would obviously be a very bullish reaction, very bullish scenario. Should we break out of this channel with strength, we are looking for large moves to the upside. To be honest with you, we really are. Um, but of course, that means we actually have to break out of this channel first of all, which we have not done yet. At the moment, we are at resistance. If we flip that into support, it's a different story. But as we're talking right now, we are at resistance. Distance. You know, I would not be longing up here. The times to long are, guess what? The first and best opportunity was that that daily. Again, if you wanted updates on that, you can check within our group. Okay, your second opportunity was the swing failure pattern yesterday. Again, that was all posted in actually a live stream that I done just for the members. Okay, and well, if you've missed that on that long and you're on that long, you, you don't really have a long opportunity up here because you are, would be longing in directly into the top of the parallel channel resistance that's been going on for a month here. It's not really a good idea. What you could be looking for is a potential flip. If we flip resistance into support, well, then you have another opportunity. Even down on the lower term time frames, you do obviously have a, a, a significant opportunity of a swing failure pattern of that low. Um, so that would be the next opportunities that I'd be looking at for in terms of the breakout. And obviously, if we break down here, we'd be looking back down to around $23,000, the uptrend point of control. So you can see how I've planned this. I've got, I'm ready and waiting with my levels. I know where we are. I know why we've come here. I know exactly the reason of the lows. Each of these lows, I know why we rejected there. I know why we rejected from the high. Okay, and now I'm ready and waiting for either scenario. I'm perfectly fine with seeing a breakout and a large rise to the upside. I'm perfectly fine with seeing a breakout break here, a swing fair pattern once again, and another rejection, and I'm also comfortable with a pullback. I'm planned and prepared for either of those scenarios, and unless I see one of those scenarios, I will really simply remain patient. I will only execute and trade a plan that I have made. Okay, so plan the trade, Plan the trade, trade the plan, okay? Simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this video. I truly hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something from it. If you wanna see more from myself, if you wanna see more from the other coaches, you wanna get these updates live in the time as it's happening, okay? This is obviously across at chartchampions.com where we not only have these updates as they're happening live in the time, we also have all of the educational material. We are obviously focused on an educational group and we're here to support you, educate you, empower you so you can basically come up to our level and trade alongside us. Um, so yeah, hope you've enjoyed this. Hope you've understood the insights that I've given you. And um, yeah, I mean, these, this, this type of call... Yeah, <laughs> don't to be end on a downer, but this type of call is gonna take time. Yeah, you're gonna be looking for those 10 plus years of experience, intuition, but then once you get to this level, obviously, you know, things flow brilliantly. But, uh, you know, the first step, as in everything, is you've got to put in the time and learn. So, yeah, we're here to support you if you want to do that. You can obviously check out everything that we got over on the website. And, um, yeah, that's what just what I'll end with there. So I'm going to say thank you once again. Obviously, we've already done two live streams this morning. We've got live streams coming out all the time right now. Two live streams already this morning. Content galore. Um, so I'm just going to wrap up with that. I'm going to say thank you ever so much. Hope you've understood what we've gone through, what we're looking for next. And, uh, yeah, let's crush the charts together. CC Paul said their regards. Thank you. And I'll catch you in the next video. Hit that like button, everybody. And let's go. Obviously, ending with the no financial advice disclaimer. This is just an educational entertainment video only. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And have a good one. Bye.